We're up at Ramsey College Hospital. With me is Peter from Vannon Healthcare. Uh, you may be Dutch, but you're actually based here, and you've been here some time, Peter. That's right, right. that's right. So um, I said in my speech, I tried to copy the Manx accent <laughs> after 12 years old. They never succeeded, Not never will. No, no. Never will. Right. It's yeah. fascinating. This is claimed to be a British Isles first here today, what we're that's seeing right. here right. with this easy sense uh, device. Tell, tell us all about it. Yeah, it is early sense is um, is an innovation. Um, it's a product as many products we have in our portfolio. Um, and what is the unique feature of this product? It is detection of the patient's vital signs under the mattress. So this is a detector you put under the mattress, uh, under you know a thick mattress, and it detects uh, crucial vital signs and new vital signs that never had been detected, like the the respiratory rate. And Nowadays we call it, we get a little bit older, you and I, yeah? Now, nowadays you call it fancy artificial intelligence. I call it logical thinking. You just put all the parameters together so there is a massive database who links up the heart rate, respiratory rate and moving of a patient. And that's not just an innovation what's available now today, but since 2004 it has been developed. Uh, what does it do? It links all those parameters together and it predicts certain, certain pathologies. Uh, what is one of the major issues we can detect that nobody can is early sepsis detection. Early that's, sepsis. A, that's a big one now, that's sepsis. A big one. That's a big one. Um, yeah. I'm, so pretty, I'm pretty long in, this, long in this business and I said before, uh, before it was cardiovascular disease and nobody cared. When you call it stroke, wow, stroke, that's a major issue and also, of course also for the health system. Because you try to avoid, avoid to get a stroke, you don't want to have a patient sitting in a wheelchair for 10 years and the rest of his life. But sepsis is one of the major issues. 70 million people die a year in the world. So your yeah. detectors, the unique selling point here is that you're not strapped up, wired up. Correct. It, 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 you, you, you lie on the bed, Correct. there's a sensor under there, you might sit in your chair, there's yep. a sensor under there. Immediately all the nurses have access to that correct, information. Correct, correct. So the unique thing is that um, it's Wi-Fi, it's wireless, yep. uh, fully secured under all the directives of the health system. Uh, the data goes in the database and will be projected here in Ramsey at the three different working workstations. So they have three, 31 beds, three workstations and there are three large LED screens mm. without patient information of course and you can see exactly what is going on 24-7 a day of the patient. Is this replacing medical staff or assisting no, medical staff? It's very interesting. Um, <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> it isn't. It is really make life more pleasant. Mm -hmm. And I say, look, I, I couldn't show one of my slides. Um, I had the chance myself to, to work together with the nurse in Ramsey and that is quite interesting. We are in four continents, not to fly to Azerbaijan this time, but to go over the mountain road to Ramsey and work with the nurses. Uh, what I found and what I put in my slide as the first one is staff satisfaction. Mm. And that's a very important part. Um, in five years time there will be an immense shortage, already there is, mm. of nursing staff. And what we have seen, that nurses said, my god, we finally have time to talk with the patient and not running around like chicken to, to treat them. So the staff, I think specifically for the Isle of Man, it's an immense set. A, we put the Isle of Man on, on the world map, the early set, because it's the first in the British Isle. We beat in the UK big time with our love, yeah? Yeah. being a semi manx man. <laughs> and secondly is, um, is that you can prevent so many pathologies, etc. And chaos costs money. Chaos, last minute work costs money. Uh, so you can really act before something significantly happens. But staffing, no, it won't replace nurses. But you have so certain hospitals, for instance, in the Netherlands, where they run entire department with two nurses. Now you can use, now you can run it comfortable and not being stressed, etc. So this has all been uh, probably helped out, funded, isn't it, by the, 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 League, the, of the League of Friends here? Um, do you see that you've got the minister on board? Is he going to put us into Nobles Hospital? Um, we already had, had David, David Ashford immensely mm. on board. He was, he was a big advocate of us. Of yeah, course, it took two years. Can you get him to pay for uh, it? <laughs> everywhere. Now, um, look, the thing is, it's very simple. We talk a lot in healthcare nowadays. And I, I'm a clinician myself. Um, if, if a cardiac surgeon would, would be, if a cardiac surgeon would act like King's Fund and all those talkers, the mortality rate would go up with 70,000%. I'm just joking, you know. You have to do something. Prevention is needed. Out of hospital care is needed, but how do you do it? Mm. I come from a country when I heard all the stories in the UK and the NHS, integrated care. Integrated care already exists for 40 years in the Netherlands when I was a little boy. So we know how it works. So just copy a model and go for it, you know. But I believe that with the statistics we have, and are already proven in Ramsey, 
A, it is of course a political issue by how do we sell the Isle of Man. I think that's already worth the money. If you put the Isle of Man on the roadmap to include nobles and all the clinics, the nursing home with early sense, and sell it as the first total digital healthcare island in the world, you will blow the world away and we will be world news. And it's probably far cheaper than an advert campaign by, by the Department of Enterprise. You understand? But I believe speaking about the cost saving we can generate is immense. Um, I heard some stories lately that, and it came in the news, you know more than I do, some sepsis patients were, were non, not quickly diagnosed, they ended up eight months in Liverpool. And if you end up eight months in an in intensive care unit in Liverpool, it costs the health system half a million pounds. You only need, four, you only need uh, one patient is 50% of the purchase price of here. So the prevention, but also let's think about the elderly people and, 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 and also the patient satisfaction, the, the staff satisfaction, etc. So the combination, I'm long in this business, I haven't seen a product where you have a combination of all those factors. Patient safety, early detection, better care and cost saving. Yeah, this is not a test product, this is actually officially, uh, and you're rolling it out uh, elsewhere and this will be common yes. In yes, a couple of years' time, already, most places? Uh, we think this will be a new standard in, in, in the world market, healthcare market. And a Manx company technically behind it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is what we try to do now. We try, and then we are also proud about this, and that's the reason why we have been fighting to get it in. Mm -hmm. um, the problem is what I've seen, and I've been myself involved in 86, 87 in the early days by establishing a large corporation in the UK. Um, the NHS has changed, yeah. Uh, but, I mean, there are certain things we have to realize. Aging population is not an NHS problem. <laughs> Aging population is a global problem. And why do certain countries already attacking this years ago and we're still talking about it? Let's think, what are we going to do about this, you know? But I believe um, early sense is a fantastic basis and foundation of a new type of healthcare, Integrated care, what I mentioned, that we come now with the new telemedicine so the doctor can see the patient in, in Ramsey, when there is something wrong, the nurse calls the doctor, he logs in, he sees the patient and he decides nobles or not. What you had before, let's send it to nobles because I don't want to take the decision. And that is cost, that is massive cost. And we don't think about it, an immense distraction for the patient. Yeah. Well, it's been fascinating and we talked about your, your company another time yeah. and what you're doing here in the Isle of Man. But you're obviously pleased with what's happening here today. I'm very pleased today, I'm very pleased that uh, for many reasons to do something, to give something back to the Isle of Man. I think uh, we are, call it an overcomer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, um, we get are... get the accent in the end. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's right. <laughs> I try to. Um, it's funny, I speak six languages, but I have the Dutch accent everywhere, yeah, Spanish, yeah. German, etc. And so on. Right. But I mean, um, I think also as a company on the Isle of Man, and we're not in finance, we're not, we are in the medical business, but it's a little bit awkward, no? Mm. You're a strange duck in the pond. Um, but I believe that as a company, you also have a social responsibility. And we see really what we love. Of course, we made some money out of it, it covers our cost. But we are so proud and happy to give something back to the Isle of Man. And that is. My final story I want to tell you and hope to see you again.